Nikita, how are you uh, feel? Are you feeling a little bit better than you were? Obviously, you're dealing with an illness uh, this weekend. Yeah, it was like you know, not a big illness, not something special. It was it was a regular every people kind of illness, and it was like one day of recovery, miss the game, and I'm ready. Uh, take my condition in my game, and yeah, I'm ready. How are you feeling right now? Obviously, you're scoring a lot of goals, leading the team in scoring. So, how do you feel about your game overall? Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, like you know, it's not like only my work. It's like work of my partners, coaches, and all of the team stuff. It's like thanks for them. They're helping me on the ice and all ice. It's like everybody our work and like uh, I will try to do all my best for the team. You know, like not just scoring goals, play more D and cage the pucks, do something like a uh, good job for the my team. Feel very comfortable here now. I mean, you've been here for now for a number of months. Obviously, you were in Toronto or in the summer. So, do you just feel more comfort, and do you think that's helping with your, you know, success on the ice? Yeah, I think it's a pretty cool experience in Toronto. Like, uh, it was a uh, adaptation for me. Good adaptation. Three months in Toronto. A lot of like English guys uh, and a couple of Russian guys was with me, and um, yeah, some uh, new stuff for me in Toronto about like off ice work uh, on ice yeah I, like learned from that a lot and uh, be ready for this season and, like we are starting this season not bad and we are now in the progress and try to win more games what do you remember about this calgary team nikita i mean you played them way earlier on in the season in, in october what do you remember about this team and how they played against you yeah and also like past last season they were they was like the first team in the regular season and now they're so good yeah they we're uh, looking at a lot of videos press scout uh, yeah we try to be ready for this team yeah we i remembered these two games we won one in overtime it it was like two hard games here yeah, and like we need to win these games to be a really good team yeah you scored your first goal against them too <laughs> yeah i remember <laughs> how can i like rem not remember this goal it's like, like something special yeah like i don't know fart goal yeah but it's, it's the first goal yeah yeah <laughs> nikita you're just talking about how you wanted to more focus on the team but you're third in the rookie scoring race right now is that something you're keeping an eye on um i don't know yeah it's it, it's pretty good uh, if i'm the third in the rookie but you know we need like i'm working for the team i'm not watching the standings like Every time, maybe like a couple of times you said and or like some media stuff said me about that. But like uh, I'm focused on the teamwork and on the team wins. This is the most important for me and for us. Yeah, and you guys are a really young team this year. What's it like playing with, I think I heard there were four players on the team born in 2003. Uh, what's that been like? Oh uh, Yeah, it, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, all young guys, like a lot of skill and like the guys who had an experience in HL and HL guys there helps us. The coaching staff helps us, give us a nice time. We try to improve us and try to do all of us to help the team. Yeah, it's good to have a lot of young guys. It's, it's uh, like you know, it's easier to be in the team when like a couple guys you know, who are youngs with you. Yeah. Uh, do you notice that there's a, a positive attitude? Obviously, you guys have won three games in a row. So how do you feel about that in terms of, like, the, the room? Does everyone feel like there's a lot of positivity, you know, with all the winning you guys have been doing of late? Uh, sorry. What Just, like, the, the, the atmosphere around the room because you guys have won three games in a row. Uh, how are you feeling? How do you, how do you feel? How do, how's the room feeling? About, uh, about the winning. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Like, uh, three straight games yeah. win, yeah. We're now in, a, like, in a good... Uh, Mobility, yeah, we are ready for the next games. Yeah, it's good. We need to like more wins and yeah. Let me ask you this. How much acting did you have before you did that holiday video? The holiday video. Christmas yeah, 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 like two seconds of my actor game. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good, yeah. And all like uh, rookie guys, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like all guys was uh, good. Like I think it was a good film and I think the like it, all people like it, yeah something that can bring you guys together closer as a group when you have a lot of fun and everybody's laughing and, and enjoying themselves and doing something like that? Yeah, it's something like joke video. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty loud. I like it. Uh, Nick, you know, just what uh, you guys have a couple good days of practice and obviously had a really good homestand. So how, how's this team feeling overall? 
Team's feeling good. Uh, you know, to win those two at home, we'd uh, we'd struggle with that team. Uh, lost the first three against them there. To, to win two in a row at home is huge for confidence. And uh, we're going to go in this weekend and play a great team. So uh, that, was, that was a big weekend last weekend to uh, propel us into this weekend. What's the mindset right now? Because it seems like, you know, especially with the confidence in the goaltending, the goaltending really seems to have been there for you guys last, you know, three or four games. So from your from your perspective, is it just seems like the, the – you know, coach was talking about wanting to be consistent. Do you guys feel like that you're you have that now in front of you? I mean, we, it's a work in progress still. Um, you know, just because we have one good weekend doesn't mean that uh, you know the consistency is there. I think we can prove that moving forward that we could be a consistent hockey team for the rest of the year. But um, you know, we we've shown flashes of it, but uh, to sustain it for um, a significant amount of time is something we're, gonna, we're trying to work on. What's the excitement like of going back to your home province too, just to play? I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of family out that Calgary game. Yeah, definitely. You know, Calgary's not too far from Edmonton, so anytime getting back to Alberta is nice. Uh, I like being out there, and uh, yeah, a lot of family, a lot of friends, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to go back. What do you remember about that Calgary team? Obviously, them not having Dustin Wolf is a big positive for you guys with him being up in the National League, but what do you remember about that Calgary team when you first played them in October? Well, they're a good team. I mean, like, the, there's a reason why they went far last year. They got they got a lot of good veterans. They have some good young guys who have skill, too. Um, a couple of those guys are up now, but... Um, yeah, their goaltending obviously was with the, with Dustin there is um, exceptional, but uh, with him, him missing, I'm sure they have another guy that can get in there and uh, do a great job. Points. What's he kind of brought to the team early on here for you? Yeah, he obviously has a lot of skill and he can uh, he can make plays. Um, you know, he's, he's somebody who can create a, create a lot out of nothing, I guess. Uh, you know, to put to put it that way, he um, he has that high end skill that. Um, that you know, just r you can get a random goal here and there. Just you know, we're not sustaining pressure, and he can just make a play and uh, send somebody in or put himself in a good spot to score.